Salt with you. Hi guys, welcome to Sunday. What a beautiful day. As we're coming out of restrictions, we are seeing a lot of people getting out and about. We, Meg and I walked into town today and there were people everywhere, walking and shopping and, and getting out like we haven't seen in such a long time. Meg suggested this morning that I get our old bikes out. They've been under the house for a long time, haven't used them in over a couple of years. And she said, let's, let's get them out, let's get them ready and let's start working and riding and doing the things we love to do. And so I got the bikes out and I gave them a wash, I gave them clean, got them cleaned up. But then when I went and pumped up the tires, I realized that the tubes, the inner tubes were had perished. So I went and got some new inner tubes and was able to put them in the tires and we were able to inflate them once again and build them up to a place where they could carry us, to take us on the journey we want to go. And I'm not sure about you, I'm not sure what the season has been drawing in you, but as we come out of isolation, what are the things in your life that have been deflated? Or what are the things that have perished? What are the things that need to maybe be adjusted or what are the things that we need to allow God to rebuild, restore, inflate? You know, Jeremiah, 3, 30, um, Jeremiah 31, 3 says this, the Lord appeared to us saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I want to I wanna stress that this morning, the Lord, appeared to Jeremiah saying this, but I'm saying, he's saying it to you. The Lord appears to you right now, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Everlasting love is this amazing amount of love that lasts forever. It means it never runs dry. It never gives up. It never says no. It is always there for you, not based on performance or behavior, but always there. It's everlasting. It's this never running tap of his love for you. And he's saying, hey, I want you to know that everlasting love is yours. He goes on and says, I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. What does that mean? That means it's a kindness again that never runs out. It's a, a kindness that never fails you. You know, we've got friends, we've got people in our lives that, that promise certain things and they let us down and things like that and it hurts us. But God says, hey, I have drawn you. I have drawn you in close to me with unfailing kindness. He will always be kind to you. He will never be mean. He will never discard you. He will never say the things that have hurt your heart because he says, I have drawn you close with unfailing kindness. Isn't that amazing? I just think that's so amazing. And then he goes on in verse four and says, I will build you up again. And you, Israel, will be rebuilt. I will build you up again. And you, John, and you, Phil, and you, Gail, you will be rebuilt. You, Megan, and you, Ash, you will be rebuilt. I will build you up again. And I don't know about you, but sometimes in this season of laying low, there are things that have got rusty. There are things that have got old and perished. He's promised to us is that I will build you up again. I will get the wind inside your lungs again. I will get your faith rising again. And you will be rebuilt. And some of you might be thinking, well, hey, I didn't really like what I had before. Well, he doesn't say he will build you as old. He will rebuild you as new the new that he's doing in you, the new that he's getting to you, the new that's coming from heaven into you, he will make new. 
And then he goes on and says, again, you will take up the tambourine and go out to dance with the joyful. Again, you will plant. And this, I think, is so important because it's talking about us being alive and having joy again. It's again, you'll have music playing in your heart. Again, you'll be dancing. Again, you'll be with those that are joyful. And again, you will plant. Not only will you know that you're loved, not only will you have this unfailing kindness, not only will you be rebuilt and, and built up again, but joy will return. Dance will return and you will start to plant and produce. So this morning, I just I want to finish by just reminding you of these five five points, these five keys that are for us as we come out of isolation. Number one, God has drawn you close in this season. He's drawn you really close. Stay close to him. Number two, he's inflating you. He's building you up again. He's reforming and remolding you. Number three, you will be rebuilt. He wants you to know he will not leave you in ruin. You will be rebuilt. And number four, you will dance and have joy once more. And number five, you will plant and be prosperous again. God bless you. I just want to pray for you before we go. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for everybody listening today. I want to thank you for their amazing faith in you. And I want to thank you, Lord, as they draw close to you, you draw close to them. And that is a promise from heaven. But Lord, just let your presence just come right now like a blanket and bring peace and love. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Have an amazing week. Bye. 